Join Kids Hat Family. Whoa! Look at that toy car. Can I please buy it? Tofu, you already have a dozen toy cars. Let's just go and buy your sport shoes. You need a new pair. No, Tia. I want that car right away. We can buy the shoes later. Tofu, you're being very stubborn. Let's not waste money. And boy, what is more necessary? This toy car or your shoes? But Tia, please, I really want the car. It looks so nice. Oh God, Tofu, you just remind me of Rosamond from the story The Purple Jar. Who is Rosamond? The Purple Jar Once upon a time, there lived a girl named Rosamond in the beautiful city of London. Anything that looked pretty immediately attracted her attention. She was never thoughtful of what she needed and what she wanted. She never cared to think about her decisions as well. One day, as she was out shopping with her mother, she stopped by at a pretty shop. Oh mother, look at all these pretty things. Aren't they gorgeous? I wish I could buy all of it. Oh no, Rosamond dear. What would you do with all of it? Um, I'll think of that later maybe. Let's just buy it right now. Rosamond's mother nodded her head and refused to buy anything useless. As they moved ahead, they stopped by at a milliner's shop. Rosamond stared at all the bright and beautiful ribbons and hats that hung by the window of the shop. She dreamed of having all of it. Oh mother, isn't it all so pretty? We must buy them. What would you do with all of this? Oh, we can find the use for it later. Rosamond, I'd rather know the use before buying it. Well, let's go ahead. Rosamond was disappointed as they left the milliner's shop and moved on. Oh, mother, look at all this sparkly jewellery. Can we buy them, please? Indeed, these are pretty, but we already have a lot of jewellery at home. I don't think there is need for more. But, mother, look at all the sparkles and colours. Isn't that reason enough to buy it? I absolutely disagree with you, my darling. Let's just go and buy our groceries. And so Rosamond grumpily followed her mother to the chemist's store. As they entered, Rosamond's eyes lit up as she saw a glittery purple jar by the shelf. Mother, mother, look at that beautiful jar. Can we please buy this at least? Please? What would you do with it, Rosamond? I can use it to put flowers. That would look so nice. We have so many flower pots around the house already. Let's just go. And once again, Rosamond was dragged ahead by her mother, but her mind was fixed on that beautiful purple jar. Suddenly, Rosamond burst into tears. I don't think you have any money. Oh dear, I do have money. But we should not buy just anything that we find pretty. This way, we will have no money and only pretty things in our lives. If I had money, I would buy all the pretty things that I could find. Ha <laughs> ha, would you? As they were walking, Rosamond stopped and jumped as she felt something hurting her foot. She removed her shoe only to find out that it was tattered on the base. Oh dear, that's a big hole in your shoe. Come on, let's find you a new pair of shoes right away. You need it. The mother and daughter walked into a cobbler's shop, but Rosamond didn't like any of the shoes. No mother, 
I don't like these shoes. These are all so dull. Come on, try a pair at least. They look nice. Oh, these don't look like my size. Oh dear, you wouldn't know if you don't try them on. The same thing goes for the jar. You won't know if you like the jar until you examine it properly. I know, I like the jar. Mm, can I have both the shoes and the jar, mother? Well, I don't have the money to buy both the things. You will have to choose one and come to a decision by yourself. In that way, you will be responsible for your own actions. Mm, I will take the jar. I don't need new shoes. They will work just fine for me for another month at least. Alright then, if that's your decision, let's go and buy the jar. Rosamond happily hopped back to the chemist store with her mother, but it was a very foolish decision as her foot started to hurt soon. Nevertheless, she moved on and bought the purple jar. Her eyes lit up as she held the glistening jar in her hands. Oh, mother, I knew I would love it. Ah, look, isn't it so sparkly and pretty? Rosamond left the chemist's store smiling gleefully as she carried the purple jar home. Oh, mother, my foot hurts. Well, that was your decision. We can still go back and return the jar to buy a new pair of shoes instead. What? Oh, no, I can work just fine. I am sure these will last another month. Alright, that's your responsibility now. They finally reached home and Rosamond immediately took off her shoes. She picked some pretty flowers that they had bought and went to put them in the purple jar. But as she opened the bottle, a terrible odour came out of it. Ew! What is that smell? What happened? Mother, this jar contains some disgusting liquid. I need to put flowers inside. Well, you can just pour the liquid out and put some water inside it. And so Rosamond carried the purple jar to the kitchen sink and poured out the liquid. But as she emptied the bottle, she found out that the jar was completely plain and transparent. It was just some stinky liquid that was purple in colour. What? Mother! Oh no! Look! It's just a normal glass jar, not a purple one. As Rosamond stared at the empty glass jar, she wept her heart out. I don't want this jar anymore, Mother. I only liked it because of its purple colour. Well, you can still use it to put flowers inside. It will look pretty. I told you to check it properly before buying. If you had, then maybe you would have bought the shoes instead. Oh mother, I made such a silly decision. It was all my fault. I am so sorry for wasting your money. Oh my lovely baby, I am glad you learnt your lesson. Don't worry, we can buy the shoes for you soon. And for this jar, we can use it to put beautiful flowers inside. It isn't so bad after all. Little Rosamond hugged her mother and wept into her arms as she realized how bad her decision turned out to be. She realized if she had been thoughtful, she would have checked the jar properly before buying it. From that day on, Rosamond spent her money thoughtfully. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.